check out this spiral bag handle. It is just gorgeous. It looks really, it looks very professional and it is nice and squishy. It's stretchy and it has this beautiful spiral to it. And whether you knit or crochet, I really think that you're going to want to try one of these because even if you're a beginner all the way to an expert, you can do this with just a few simple steps. And once you get going, you just continue to work in this spiral and it goes all the way into the length that you want. And I will even give you tips in this tutorial of um, how to determine um, the ease um, because it is a nice Nice, uh, stretch on it so we'll do that later on in the tutorial um, but it is crochet so whether you knit or crochet I still think this is a great bag handle for you to try today here on Good Knit Kisses. Welcome to Good Knit Kisses we're all about helping you stitch your love and love your stitches. For written instructions on your spiral bag handle, please click down in the video description below and get the link to our blog to see it for free. We also have listed all the supplies that you see here, but let's just go over it real quickly. You're going to need uh, scissors and a tapestry needle for weaving in your tail later on to finish off the very end. You will need a tape measure to measure your bag handle length and we'll talk about the stretch and everything, so be sure to watch to the end of the video. If you need a stitch marker to put your work down, be sure and get a locking one. And then of course you need your yarn and your hook. Now I'm working with an H hook, which is a five millimeter hook, pretty common for most people to have. And we're working with a medium four weight yarn. This happens to be a mercerized cotton yarn. Use whatever you like. The mercerized works really well for a strong bag handle. Now, uh, if you need a right or a left-handed video tutorial, please click down in that video description and find the one that works for you. All right, let's jump right in and start our handles. We're going to begin our handle with a magic circle. Now, if you've ever tried one before and had a bit of a struggle, don't worry. I'm going to try and slow it down for you and make it as easy as possible. But if you need a backup video, I have another really slow one down at the video description below and click on the link for magic circle. All right, so we're going to pick up our yarn and have a nice long tail because this tail is going to get sewn into our bag or purse or whatever you're making. And we're just going to go around our fingers here and we're going to wrap around the first two fingers and make an X on the top. So I'm going all the way around the front, around the back of our fingers and then crossing over. And once I cross over, I'm going to um, put it between uh, or underneath my ring finger and then pinch it with my pinky. So it's just, we're just using this to hold it so we have a free hand, okay? And you'll let go of that later. It's a little awkward to hold it first. Let me show you that again. The tails in the palm of our hand, wrap it around our first two fingers, shape it in an X, and then pick up your pinky, uh, your ring finger, lay on top and pinch it with your pinky. If you hold it a little different, that's okay. The point is you've got an X shape right here and you can move it with your hook once you pick it up. So we're going to take our hook and go underneath this very first strand, okay? And then we can now grab the second strand with our hook and just pull it through. Okay, it makes a little loop and I'm just going to turn my twist my hook so it catches on the neck there. All right. So now it looks like we have a loop, but we're going to yarn over with this yarn that's trapped between our pinky and our ring finger and just going to kind of rotate around to grab it. Do a little yarn over and pull through that loop. So we're just chaining one and that's all we did. I'm just going to slowly rotate my hand and you can see that I have a chain on here. I've got this loop. You can have it loose for the moment. That's fine. And you can see that the, um, the tail is coming here and then I have this little loop and the tail is woven around this loop. So I can just pinch my stitch here with this hand and let go. All right, now with my free hand, I can just grab this and let the tail just lay over this circle because we're gonna work in this direction, trapping in this yarn into our magic loop because magically when you pull this strand, it's going to get a smaller uh, circle in the middle. So magic circle, sometimes called magic loop. All right, so um, I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna pinch and hold. So I get to put my yarn here that I normally hold here. So this is, you need to hold your, uh, working yarn back here and now I'm going to pinch and hold this open circle just like this and now we want to go into the circle and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both loops and you have one single crochet you want to repeat that seven more times so you have eight crochets all the way in the round so go through the magic circle pull up a loop yarn over pull through for seven or I'm sorry, for two, 
Okay, so that's the second one. Pull up a loop and we'll make the third. And go again, fourth. Six. Seven. Make sure I don't let it twist. And eight. Okay, so let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight stitches and our tail is right here so what we get to do is pull on our tail I just hold that first stitch and you can see it get smaller like that and we're gonna pull it to close okay now you can just let your tail hang down pick up your working yarn so we have our tail we're gonna have it go to the back here and just lay back and we're going to come around to the very first stitch and do not join in the round so um, we are going to start with round two and we're going to single crochet in the back loop only. So let me make sure we zoom in enough for you. This very first stitch here, you can see that V-shaped format. Okay, here's one leg of the V, here's the other leg. We want to go into that very back loop here and pull up a loop for single crochet. Now you wanna be nice and loose with these stitches and you'll see why later on. Uh, but we're going to yarn over and pull through for a single crochet and now we want to go to the next one so we've already gone through this one we're going through this next one here into the back loop so that's two the next one three four five six seven and eight okay so you can see that now it's really starting to roll inward you can really see uh, these stitches kind of looking like they're rolling inward um, now we are going to be working into the third loop of your stitch and you'll no longer be working into the back loop there's a really easy way to tell where you're gonna go. So bear with me for a moment, I'm gonna point and explain. Okay, so we're gonna keep going in a spiral and we're only gonna go in the same stitch. Now this is round three. We're just looking at um, the very next horizontal bars. So if you follow my hook over, you can see right here, we've got a really long um, strand that comes out from the stitch we just made here and it touches this stitch here. And follow it along and right above it is another horizontal bar. So we have two bars right there, okay, on top of each other, especially if you turn it this direction. Don't, don't look at it this way, but if you do this, you see it looks like an equal sign or something. Now we wanna see the strand of yarn that's coming out from the top of this one. Now I'm gonna just show you with uh, my tapestry needle so you can really see that. We're talking about these two. And then do you see this yarn coming from here? Okay, it's just like that. I'm gonna pull on it with my tapestry needle so you can really see it. All right, if you see that now, this is where we're going. So I'm gonna put my hook in. Make sure I'm not twisting that. All right, I'm gonna go into that loop there. That's the, the third loop or the, the bar, okay? Go in there and pull up a loop and we're going to single crochet. So we're always single crocheting and we just pull it nice and loose. Now we rotate as we go. After you get a lot of inches done, you won't be putting your thumb in here like this, but I find in the beginning, put your thumb in. So as I go, I rotate, and you can see this line up nicely. Two bars here, and I'm gonna go to this stitch here. Right in, pull up a loop, and single crochet. Turn it, there's those two bars. We're gonna go into this one. Now, this was a little bit tight, and so if you can't tell while you're starting to look, you can see that it looks like there's two bars here. We're gonna go into that very first one. There we go. Pull up a loop and single crochet. And I twist it and turn, see, and you can see another bar or two, two bars on top of each other and then follow it over, there's that loop. Once you see it and you've done it several times, it's hard not to spot, okay? So just keep going 
and I don't even count anymore like you heard me counting you know to eight every time but once you do this you really don't need to count um, here you go see I, I was just trying to search it I just used the the hook uh, to my advantage to find it and there we go and I usually don't go this slow when I'm just trying to show you uh, how slow uh, show you slowly on here let's find the next one and these first couple rows I find I've got them a little bit tighter which is okay for the beginning of your handle all right just keep going around here we go now I'm gonna go um, I'm gonna keep crocheting several inches and pause the video and come back so you can see what mine looks like and uh, show you some tips on how to measure it for the right length. So you'll just keep continuing this row three repeat where you're just working into that back loop or that third bar area and single crochet. And so you see how this is like a little, it's like a little hat right now, okay? but you're just gonna keep going and going and it becomes a tube. All right, I'm jumping forward. I've got about an inch made and you can see my spiral is coming along. And I wanna show you what this is like to rotate and um, move my uh, crochet uh, on here. It's just easier to hold this way instead of just keeping my thumb on there like you saw me earlier. So let's see what this looks like. So we're gonna come follow along. We find our first um, pair of bars here and then we're gonna go and get this little bump that comes out the back. Pull up a loop and single crochet and then I just slightly rotate it and sort of flatten it out. When I do that, you can see those two bars there and the horizontal bars and then just go right into that bump, pull up loop and single crochet, rotate it and then you find it immediately. It's just an easy way to spot it. And uh, now some people like to go and look at it from the side and pull it that way. I don't like that. I think it's easier to notice it this direction and this is the way I prefer to do it, but however is comfortable for you. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna keep going. I will show you this with several inches on, and then I'll show you how to um, finish it off. All right, we'll see you then. Well, here's a nice, beautiful handle. It's nice and stretchy and round. We've got a lot more inches, as you can see, and I've continued working my way, um, and just every time when I turn that, it just um, is easier to just kind of flatten it out and see those horizontal bars uh, just the longer that this goes. All right, so when you think you've got the right length, you want to measure it and it will have this stretch to it. See, it's stretching so much it's off screen here. So this is the way we're going to uh, decide if we have the right length. Of course, you're going to get your measuring tape out and you're going to measure from um, one end to the next, but I would suggest you pinch uh, at the zero on your tape measure, pinch this little tail, and um, pull it all the way down here. And I can see that unstretched, this is uh, 12 and a quarter inches, uh, well, about 12 inches, okay? Wow, that's almost spot on. But you can see once it stretches, it's gonna look longer than this. So here we go, I'm just gonna stretch it. I'm just holding this taunt back here, lay out my tape measure, and I'm just gonna stretch it until maybe like the max of the handle uh, strength. If it's just for purse, it may not get as heavy as I'm stre um, stretching it, um, maybe just slightly, but I'm just going to pull it to the max right now, and you can see I'm getting 17 inches. I don't know if you can see this, and I'm I am flipping the tutorial for um, my left-handed people, but this is going to be 17 inches here. That's what that says, and so if 17 is good for you, that's great. Just remember when you're holding your handle, the height of your bag is going to be half this length here, so if you're at that right um, uh, height that's great if you are over by about quarter inch that's even better because here's the trick for completing it so um, you're going to uh, cut your yarn and leave a nice long tail for sewing in okay you're gonna be sewing in your handle so I'm gonna cut this and then um, we're going to um, before we before we do anything else, we're actually going to pull out about eight stitches because you're gonna be taking your uh, tapestry needle through eight stitches, but it sticks out really easy if you do this. Just do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you see all these little loops here, and now you're just gonna take your tapestry needle and put it through. Uh, oh, whoops, sorry. Um, go ahead and pull this loop here, pull this loop all the way out, 
and then thread your tail and you're just going to pull it through every one of these loops. Just keep going in this spiral order. So I'm going to go through one, two, sorry, <laughs> I have too long of a tail here. There we go. And we have three. Five, six, and then uh, when it gets to six here, let's see, it's a little bit more pulled down here. So I'm just going to go to the next one. You can see the next little parallel bar. Seven, and this last one. Let's see, kind of hard to see. There we go, that one right there. Now you can see why I said pull it out. <laughs> so now you just uh, pull that tight. You've got a little drawstring at the end. Um, you can go back through one of these loops here and leave a little loop, pull through, and then go through that loop again to fasten it off. And you are ready to weave in your two tails and or sew them into your bag or purse or whatever. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial on making spiral handles and enjoy it for your next project or projects because this is a real winner. I just love it. Be sure and tag us on Good Knit Kisses Instagram to show us your project making these handles. And if you'd like to check out our sunflower bag, please click in the comments below for that pattern. We'll see you soon and happy crochet. Thanks for joining us today, where we help you stitch your love and love your stitches. See you again soon.